One of the most practical filters included in New Blue FX's Filters 5 Ultimate Collection is the Selective Hue plugin, a very flexible filter designed to give you more control over specific hues in your project. Here we've got the intro to a music video that uses graffiti as one of its major elements, so we want the final product to be something that's very flashy and busy with lots of primary colors clashing with one another. We've already done some color correction on the shot using the Film Color 2 plugin, which we've discussed in a previous video, but the aqua colored background isn't as pronounced as we'd like. To remedy that, we're going to use Selective Hue to turn it into a bright green. Start by dragging the Selective Hue plugin from your Video Effects New Blue Filters folder. The first step is to use the eyedropper tool under Source Color to select some of the aqua color we want to replace. As of yet, there is no change, but as we drag the hue slider, you'll notice the background shifting color. Let's leave it on a nice bright green. Most of the power of Selective Hue comes from its ability to really fine tune your target color range, giving you tremendous flexibility in what parts of your image are affected by the color swap. Check the Show Mask box to see exactly what areas are being corrected, and the Source Adjust, Range, Mask Cleanup, and Mask Size options to do any necessary tweaks. The Range slider increases or decreases the hues covered by the mask, and the Target Luminance, Saturation, and Hue sliders allow you to really fine-tune the range based on those individual factors. So let's turn the mask off to see how these sliders affect our footage. The biggest issue here is the small amount of aqua showing up around the lettering in the background, but by tweaking the options in the Source Adjust tab, we're able to make those colors look much more natural. The Saturation and Brightness sliders adjust our output color. In this case, we want to increase both of them by just a little bit. Increasing the brightness adds a little bit of artifacting around the lettering, but luckily we can use Soften to feather the edges and fix that. The Strength feature allows you to adjust the opacity of the color mask, but this one looks fine with full opacity, so let's leave it at 100%. If you need to make any further corrections, the Mask Cleanup slider can be used to simplify the edges of your mask. You can see what effect this has when we click Show Mask and crank it all the way up, but for this project, we just need to use it to make a minor tweak to remove some of the aqua from around her hair. The Mask Size option increases or decreases the size of the border around your mask. Again, clicking Show Mask gives you an idea what this slider is capable of, but today we're just using it to make the finishing touches to her hair. Finally, the Invert option can be used to invert the shape of the mask if you'd rather use the plugin to correct everything except the masked area. Notice how the background has reverted to its original aqua while everything else has been altered. Of course, we don't want that today, so let's leave it unchecked. By the time you're done, you should have a look that's much more precise than any basic color swapping plugin, and it can be accomplished in minutes without the need to correct frame by frame. Selective Hue is just one of the many plugins included in the Filters 5 Ultimate Collection. With over 25 versatile coloring tools and hundreds of preset looks, Filters 5 Ultimate makes it easy to improve the quality of your footage. To learn more, visit newbluefx.com filters today. Thank <laughs> you.